Hey, good afternoon, everybody. God bless you in the name of Jesus Christ. This is Eugene, and I want to uh, show you this video that uh, Cicely sent me through Gmail. Uh, thank you, Cicely. I really appreciate it. God bless you, sister. And um, I want to show the rest of the world. This is about a man having a vision from God concerning CERN. And what the ultimate agenda is for that and if you have anything that you want to send me please send it to me I really appreciate it guys this helps the 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 church it helps the body of Christ to be informed and in what's going on because one person may see something while the while another person may miss it so feel free to send me uh, whatever you feel that you need to send me and so I can look at it and uh, possibly share it with everybody else so thank you Cecily for for doing this and without further ado I am going to show you here we go how's everyone doing um, so I have a prophetic word from the Lord let me just say a quick prayer I was praying, so that's why you're hearing the instrumental in the background. I was praying just to look, ask God for clarity on how to deliver this word and how to bring forth this word. But God been talking to me about this word since I last released the prophetic word um, about Antarctica. So that was two weeks ago. So God been downloading me, downloading this word in me ever since I released that prophetic word about Antarctica, which is two weeks ago. So Father God, I just pray that you bless this word, you cover this word. I pray that no weapon that form against this word sh shall not prosper. And every tongue that rises up against it will be condemned in the name of Jesus. Father God, we ask that your power will begin to cover this word even now. Father God, we pray in the name of Jesus, Father God, that you will just give wisdom, knowledge, and understanding standing even now to those who are listening in the name of Jesus amen um yes guys so after I down after I did the video on Antarctica the Lord has been talking to me about CERN um and he did that by taking me into a vision and in the vision he began to show me how this whole idea behind cern started this whole idea of like opening the portal and like bringing forth fallen angels and, and so forth um and what god showed me in a vision was that i saw that when cern first was successful to like you know tap into like portals or whatever opening I, I what i saw is that you know they have they opened a portal a while back and when they opened a portal they had a communication with a a demonic spirit a fallen angel and, and the fallen in, in this communication with this scientist like i saw two scientific person i don't know who started cern when it started and or whatever but i just saw two individuals they were standing in the vision next to this machine the machine opened up this thing that looked like a portal and I saw that they were having a conversation with what looks like in their eyes aliens but immediately in the spirit I knew it was a demonic thing it was a fallen angel and the spirit was saying to them hey you know we can show you how to open up um, the portal and, and allow us to come in and, and, and they were having a discussion about depopulation that's what I heard and in, in, in that discussion is that a demonic spirit said to the scientists you know, you know we will work for you is like they kind of trick the scientists to have them believe that you know when you release us we'll be under your control we'll do what you say you can bring us back at any time you, you know um but while they were saying that it's like i knew in the vision that this was a lie and that once the spirit came out the portal they will have no loyalty to these um to these um scientists but they they lie to the scientists and have them believe that they they will have loyalty to them and they were going to bring and, and the idea was for depopulation i don't know why 
scientists or those who are in power are so big on this depopulation thing but i heard that this fallen angel demonic thing made a deal with the scientists saying that you know if you if you help us to come we can help you support you with your your population situation and we can help you depopulize and we can do the depopulization and then you can you know have us go back so that's what i saw in 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 the spirit that's what i saw in the spirit that's what um it was a conversation that started and sparked this whole idea of like let's create this machine that can open up and bring forth and and they thought that they were talking to an alien and they had no idea at first that it was a demonic spirit but eventually what i saw in the in the um the vision was that eventually they knew that this thing was a demonic spirit but they wanted what was offered by the time that they knew this thing was a demonic spirit they were already intertwined in their dark belief and 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 and, and possessed in so many ways because things were coming out of the portal as they were tampering with these things as they were experimenting with these things things were coming out of the portal and latching themselves onto these scientists and feeding them more and more information that's what those were revealed to me when it was like the origin of the idea of CERN's idea. The origin of CERN's idea is started with communication with a fallen angel, the demonic force that that have the scientists believe that they're doing a partnership, that there's loyalty in their communication. But the laws tell me to warn and say that there's no loyalty in this communication. There's no loyalty in this partnership. You are being used. These scientists, you are being used. These people who empower, who's funding this thing, you are being used and you are opening the door to your own demise said the lord and i hear the lord say repent for your opening the door to your own demise and the demise of your generation and the things you call your legacy wow the things you call your legacy you're opening the door to a curse up on your bloodline to a curse up on your life so that was what the lord showed me as it pertains to cern then I did another thing that the Lord showed me as it pertains to Antarctica. And first of all, I just want to address this. You know, we know that now that we know that CERN is like the biggest scientific place or the scientific um, center or whatever, whatever. And we also know that Antarctica is a place that have all these scientific base. So if, if for, for anyone to think that CERN and Antarctica don't have any connection, then that's that's being naive and that's being lack of knowledge. Like there's definitely, it, it doesn't even take the wise to see that there would definitely have to be a connection between Antarctica and CERN. Now, so not because CERN is in Switzerland, the main base is in Switzerland, doesn't mean that they don't have anything to do with Antarctica. There is a partnership there's a communication they're working together the two are not separate <laughs> Antarctica are certain are not separate are not separate and I hear God say that we know, you know, as we're keeping an eye on so we have to keep an eye on Antarctica. Because what I saw in Antarctica was the mark of the beast being made in Antarctica. I saw that, you know, that they had what looks like an alien laid out on a stretcher and this and taking blood. The blood looked purple. It was purple. I, it, it looked purple and it was taken like a like a violet purple bluish purple it just looked like a, between those two color bluish purple and they were drawing blood from this like um specimen this alien this fallen angel they were drawing blood from it and they were mixing it with human blood it's just like they were creating a different dna in antarctica and i hear the law said that the mark of the beast is good they're working on it is already being worked on and 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 it will come it will come from from um antarctica and it will come from a partnership between cern and antarctica the law is already in the making is already in the making i hear the law said devious things are happening secrets devious things that you could not even fathom that you would not even think devious things that you will only see that that you will only see or think would appear in movie i hear the law say devious things 
devious things are happening behind closed doors, devious things. I literally see human being making partnership with demonic force and satanic people and priests and stuff like that. Like knowing that these things are dark, knowing that these things are evil. They're knowingly making these packs and the and these agreement with these things and i see that they're making a new kind of dna in 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 antarctica it look i keep seeing the chromosomes you know when they're talking about dna you're seeing the chromosomes and, and that scientific looking stuff that's what i keep seeing and it's being made in antarctica so god is talking about cern he's talking about antarctica the two are not separate I hear God say the two are not separate and they're making moves, they're making stride, they're making milestones, they're coming on to a second milestone. I hear the Lord said that CERN is coming on to a second milestone. They just reached a recent milestone the other day, but I hear the Lord say that there's a second milestone coming, a second achievement for CERN is coming, a second announcement, a second announcement is coming. They're moving speedily. They're moving rapidly. They're moving speedily and they're moving rapidly, said the Lord. Hallelujah. See if there's anything else. The CERN, Antarctica. Hallelujah, Jesus. Hallelujah. Shilla baba 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 shekin de de be kanda da ba sin de de be su la baba 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 bansha Shiva brandai ne kaba soto da la baba baba bansha de de bobo bobo bansha Yes Lord So I think that's all that the Lord wants me to release right now as it pertains to CERN and Antarctica But he wants me to end with this The two are not separate Do not separate the two To separate CERN from Antarctica because of their location Is to be tricked by the enemy Is to be naive The two are not separate And the two are working on a second announcement And they're working together in this partnership uh, uh, I hear the Lord said CERN is is about to go public with their face you so you see that how they're in the dark and we're hearing things about them through prophetic voices the loss that CERN is about to go um um public they're gonna go public there they're gonna put their face out they're gonna talk publicly what it is that they're working on what is it that they're doing it doing and they're gonna sell it so well to the population CERN is about to go public with their mission and what they're doing Thank you, Lord. So, Father, God, I pray that you, you know, you will give greater insight to those who are listening. Father, God, that you will bring a second part to this revelation to us, so we can understand, we can know what to do, so we can ready ourselves. In Jesus' name, I pray. Amen. Hallelujah.